This is a quick video showing our off-grid power setup. If you have any questions, just let me know. We have a pre-wired midnight solar e-panel with an Outback VFX3524 inverter charger, uh, 3500 watts. A midnight solar classic 150 charge controller for the um, solar array. Um, a lot, all the detail wiring is done for you. You just have to come in with your solar array wiring, positive and negative, and your battery bank, positive and negative, and your AC in from the generator and out to your out to your house, or you can wire send it to a sub panel, which is what I did. The E panel, you have that option available to wire it straight from the E panel. This Outback inverter is a pure sine wave. It's not modified. And I recommend anybody to get pure sine wave, whatever type of inverter you get. I'd spend a little bit extra money and get the good stuff. It's Trust me, it's worth it. This is a good setup for someone like me that's a do-it-yourselfer. I researched a lot on the internet and learned as much as I could before we actually set this up. It's worked great for us. We've been off-grid since um, October 2012. This Midnight Solar Classic charge controller is uh, really nice. It has a built-in arc fault detector and a DC ground fault protection is built in and the arc fault was really great when we first installed it because we we would occasionally get an arc fault and when I called Midnight Solar they told me to check all my connections and when I did one of the breakers at this Midnight Solar junction box it has three 15 amp DC breakers the uh, line coming in the positive coming in to the breaker was just a little loose and I tightened it up and that's that fixed the problem and I I recommend Midnight Solar they, they've always been helpful if I have, have any questions or anything like that um, they're they're top-notch and so is Outback for that matter because you if you live off-grid you depend on this stuff every day to work and so far uh, it's been I've been very pleased with it And we have the Outback Mate. I'm just going to run through some of the menus and the display screens so you can see how they how they work. If you have any questions, just let me know. This is late in the day after 5 p.m. and we don't have much solar coming in right now. We have the generator going. But typically, we, when it's a nice sunny day, we get plenty of solar in, up around 17, 1800 watts. But the day was mostly cloudy, so we had to run the generator here in the evening time before we go to bed. Right here, we I'm going to drop the generator, and you'll see how quickly it jumps from generator to inverter. It's basically instantaneous, and you can set that sensitivity with the Outback Mate. This is our battery bank. It's a 12 Trojan T105 6-volt batteries wired in series and then parallel. I'll do a video later on that, but I've got uh, a lower vent with some screen and a, the upper vent for the gases to exit when you're charging. This battery box is big enough that I can have some L16 batteries in the future if I want to upgrade. Now the next part of this video, you're gonna see how I program my classic 150 midnight solar 
charge controller. I'm using their um, website here where you can program the charge controller. And I have the link below. If you have any questions, just let me know. See you next time.